What's up, guys? Uh, there, there is this truther, you know, that I used to watch called Mark Passio. And uh, I recently wanted to, you know, just to see this guy, if what he's done new, you know. I knew I would vomit because this is a guy that talks about, you know, natural law and all this kind of BS, you know. And he has been, he's been part of the, of the uh, occult, so to speak. And uh, in my video, I will show you that, uh, and yes, he says that uh, uh, he has left this place and now he's talking about the truth. And uh, it's huge in this uh, uh, truth community, you know. And I want to show with this interview, this latest interview that he did, uh, that is full of uh, key uh, points uh, that I want to show that this guy has not left <laughs> the occult guys. Uh, but unfortunately, people do not understand, even though it's very clear here, guys. So let's go to the first point, the first mark. 14, let's hear this. Dynamic. It is a collective dynamic, unfortunately. That is just the way that it is. This is what teaches humanity the law of one, that we are one, that we are not separate in consciousness, ultimately, at the ultimate level. Oh, we are all one. Uh -huh. And anybody that says it's not about waking other people up and that's not... So let's go to the next one. Yeah, all, we are all one, guys. Let's go to the next point. 19. That's the hardest work that there is in the universe to do, and that's why it's called the one great work. They're not interested in that, because that would take... The, the one great work. The great work, guys. The Masons call the great work. The G, you know? What they do. ...time of their life to do. They don't want to give truly of themselves. Okay, let's go to the next one. They're just keywords, you know, so that you understand with who you're dealing with. This guy is seen as a god, you know, in the truth movement. So, I know more about the dynamic of how things are influenced on a mass scale, having been involved in the occult, and worked with the people who are influencing it for the worse. You haven't had that experience, the people out there in the listening audience, in the viewing audience. Okay, so shut up, you, you dumb morons. I know what I'm talking about. That's the whole problem. The whole problem is most people have never had any experience of the occult in their lives. They don't know what it is. They don't know what it does. They don't know how powerful it is. Oh, it's powerful. So maybe this guy is uh, promoting all this junk, you know? 24, let's go to the next one. 34. And the real scientific methodology is a classical liberal arts education method called the trivium. And these people don't know the trivium at all because it's been completely removed from all public forms of schooling in the United States. The trivium, guys, this is a, a totally Masonic way of, you know, thinking that, you know, you, you're going you're gonna to know the truth by uh, walking th through these stairs, you know. Just put a trivium and you will see <laughs> what you will find online, guys. Unbelievable. 34, so let's go to the next one. 53, let's see this other pearl. And people want to say, I'm angry because I'm vegan? Let's talk about that. A little boy, little girl, come and test me if you doubt my strength. Come and test me if you doubt my virility. You'll see what will happen. And I'm not even saying I want to get violent with people. I'm saying, you think that eating a vegan diet has weakened me? You'll find out how weak I am, son. This is a really enlightened individual, guys. You'll find out if you want to test it. Come and test it and find out. How much eating vegan has weakened me? You know, guys, vegan was promoted by the New World Order in order to make us eat all grass. And this moron has fell for it, as I fell for it, because I was a vegan as well, but now I realize it. You have to eat meat, guys. That's why they don't want us to, to eat meat anymore. Because they want us weak, you know, as they have succeeded, you know. And slowly now, with climate change and everything, you know, all this BS, they will say to us, oh, it's unsustainable to, to eat meat anymore. So, this guy, and, uh, and the fact that these uh, morons do not understand that uh, they are attached to the, they think that matter is everything. They do not know that there is a spiritual part that uh, takes care of our lives, guys. These people think that the right diet is what they will uh, save them then. They still want to save the flesh, guys. They do not get it. These people are lost and they are very frightened, as you will see. You know, these enlightened individuals, you know, which should, which should be calm and everything, they are very frightened because they f fear for their flesh, guys. That's why 
That's why the Moors give also money to these demons. Let's hear the next one. So let's hear more about this enlightened individual. Okay. And I'm not even going to belabor that point. I'm just going to say this is how much people are idiots about things still. Okay. People are idiots. Let's go to the next one. 55. Maybe I already did that. They all I said is the truth is there, it is objectively discoverable, and with hard work, each individual is capable of discovering if they apply their mind and their effort. Okay, so this is the difference between a Christian and someone uh, like uh, a Mason, yes. They think they can arrive at the truth, at salvation, for example, uh, through themselves, through knowing things. But it's not, it's not, and, and you will get cocky, you know, you will get... Uh, selfish and everything because you think well, yeah I can get there and um, when on the other hand if you put your faith in, uh, in God you know uh, you will be more humble individual you know, you, you'll be less you know I am God uh, you know as these types here and I can do anything I can know everything you know and uh, so this is a huge difference, but unfortunately, guys, I've stopped uh, worrying about people not understanding this huge point. You know, these people are evil guys, and you don't understand because they gave, they give um, merit to themselves instead of God who put you here. Do you have you any idea how how unbelievably complex the human body is, guys? And they say, oh, the creator, the source. No, it's God, you moron. But they don't want to acknowledge God. Because if they acknowledge God, they have to obey what God has, says, you know, has said. Which they don't like, you know, because they want to be gods, you know. Just, you know. He, this guy is like, uh, we'll see later. So, 55, 56, let's go to the next one. I am important enough, I am worthy enough, I love myself enough that I will prevent harm from coming to me when it is unjustly coming to me, and I will defend myself up to including lethal force. That's a place of love that has nothing to do with violence. So nothing to do with so these, these people are fearful now, guys, and uh, uh, that's, uh, this, this is the latest thing that I realize that, you know, uh, we are slaves here, uh, there's nothing you can do about that. And uh, just realize how many dumb moons are out there, you know, what can you do? And uh, what power, uh, the flesh, the flesh will die, There's, it, it's always been in their hand. The only thing they cannot get from, from us, uh, from a few of us, uh, is the, the, the spirit, you know. So the battle is only there, you know, this is a battle. For the spirit and not for the flesh. The flesh is, is dumb. And they can have it. Uh, but this more, they are afraid. They want to be alive forever, in eternity. Defense comes stems from a place of self-worth and self-love. Just like wanting to know the truth and believe that you can know the truth about what's happening here and now on this planet. And okay, let's go to the next pearl. I have a 147 intelligence quotient. My IQ is 147. That's genius level. And I don't even think that's a measure of holistic intelligence. Wow, so a very humble individual. I think if you factored heart intelligence, it would be higher. That's just left brain intelligence. Just my left brain intellect is 147 quotient. Can you get a guess? With half a brain, he's more intelligent than you are saying. Very humble, guys. Very humble. Okay? I don't really think that that's a true, accurate measure of how intelligent somebody really is. But you compare that, I'm not going to take orders from some, you know... <laughs> okay, okay, let's, let's stop it here. Very humble, so let's see more. 114. It, okay? You don't know the level that I'm capable of reasoning and applying logic and understanding. Okay? Most people don't because they cannot think at my level. And I'll tell them to their face that they can't think at my level. I, I, again, I don't care how arrogant or condescending it sounds. No, no, it's, it's, it's fine. Continue, continue, please. doesn't make a difference how it sounds to those people who are the ignorant. It's true. You know? So I will not accept their worldview. Not Let's go to the next part. You know, there's a fruit that completely cures just about every kind of cancer in the world. It's called... So it's talking about the fruit that cures cancer, guys. You know, saving the flesh yet. And and look how many uh, 
efforts this guy has done to take in his possession this fruit, guys, because for these morons only the flesh exists, guys. And uh, thanks to your money that you give to these morons, to these demons, they can uh, they get the fruit. And here in this uh, part here, he says that he will not say where he bought it, because he wants to live forever. But not you that gave the money to him, you morons. Sour sop. That's what they call it here in the United States, but it's called uh, uh, guanabana. Hmm. Guanabana. G U A N A B A. Guanabana. And so he got the the magic fruit guy that will live forever. Let me tell you something. Tell us. It is almost mythical. Wow. Try to find it. Try to acquire it. No, no. I, I don't have the money that uh, morons uh, that follow you give to you. And I, and I don't want that money. It is almost something that people have only claimed it exists. Wow. You cannot buy it anywhere. I, I think, I'm not even going to tell people right now where. But I found it at one place in the United States. Wow, lucky you, lucky you. I had to have shipped from across the, the whole country. Wow. Okay? This Somebody is how rare me. it is. Somebody told me a few years ago you can get it at Brixton Market in London, apparently. That was the information I was given. Like, like, like one place place. in every country might right. have it. Okay, you might have to order it outside your country. This is how tightly controlled of a substance it is, and it's a harmless fruit. I mean, this guy wants to save himself from cancer, and he, when he, he buys shop, he has to buy, you know, goes to shop to shopping. He has to wear the muzzle, and uh, they will do with him whatever they, they they want, you know. And yet, this moron in this hell wants to save his flesh. What a dummy! Next one. Why am I upset? That's not the question. The question is, why aren't you upset enough to do something about it? Yeah, get angry like this uh, uh, very enlightened individual. That's the question you should be asking mm -hmm. yourself. That's right. If you could send a personal message to Bill Gates, what would you say to Bill Gates? Let's hear from a very enlightened individual. Come on. Your parents did a number on you, moron. Oh, but ni seconds, I'm to we am two, ni second. Uh, ni second. And you bought into all the crap and nonsense that parents, teachers, so-called experts did to your soul? So, he, that was his message to Bill Gates. Nature and the self are one and the same. That's why in the tarot cards, the, the world and the soul card are totally interchanged. They're like inter... The tarot card, guys. Very, you know, uh, esoteric, you know. Cards that they use, you know, to know the future. <laughs> this is what he's talking about, guys. Changeable. They are both at the dot position on the tree of life. When you compare the tarot cards of the major arcana according to the Kabbalistic tradition and lay them out according to the tree of life layout. Okay, you should know this stuff, guys. He's telling it to you. Let's go to the next one. Isis was the, the, t the figure that represented love and... Isis represented love, guys. Uh, being taught properly how to, how to live and how to conduct oneself. This was Moth in the Egyptian tradition and the Kemetian tradition of ancient Egypt. Yeah, wow. Didn't knew that Isis was love. Tell us more. Oh, Isis will show you the beautiful pathway that leads to a better world of green, you know, uh, trees and, and grass and, and gardens and wonderful living. And rainbow and unicorn, yeah. And she'll take you down there and say, this is the way you probably should go if you say you want a better life for yourself. But Eris will be all too happy to accompany you down the path of flame and torture, if you wish it. Okay, okay. Is there any more pearls? The One Great Work Network is more than what almost every human being has done in a hundred lifetimes of effort. So he's done this uh, platform, uh, and he, he says very humbly that it's the best out there. You know, thanks to morons that have given him thousands of dollars donation. Okay? That's all I have to say. You could say that's me tooting my own horn, and maybe it is. But guess what? Wow. It's a phenomenal effort that people have put come and put together. The developers did a great job. The content creators did a great job. And quite frankly, I did a great job. And I'm proud of the effort. Wow, very humble. 
And it doesn't have to be perfect, now or ever. Okay, good. Just humble individual, guys. Any more pearls? Two, two, two. I mean, I really didn't have the resources, did not have the resources to do, but I now do. He didn't have the resources to, to do this, uh, he's talking about the documentary, because he has to give something to the Mars or give him thousands of dollars, you know? And then now, now he promised them that he would give some documentary, but he's late, you know, because he's just he's eating the money that he, they give to him, you know. And now he's trying to you know, make some excuse. You know? So maybe we'll go into the studio and lay down the 13 tracks the way they were really meant to be laid down, and put out a. For oh, now he's talking about the uh, uh, an album that he wants to record in a professional way because now he has the money that Morris give to him to record it. But listen to the to the symbology here, guys. Each one of the stars in Old Glory, you know, or each one of the original 13 colonies, or each one of the steps on the pyramid and on the all-seeing eye uh, uh, symbol on the dollar bill to get to that place of light. To get to that place of light. He's talking about the 13 tracks of his album, you know, and he compared it to the 13 steps that uh, the masons you know do to arrive at uh, enlightenment morons that still listen to this demon unbelievable man unbelievable wait because i'm still working on mark passi on the science of natural law documentary so he's working on this documentary of what i was talking about uh it's been delayed for a couple of reasons there because i'm eating the, the money that you gave to me and i don't have them anymore yes there's Obviously, I, well, I wouldn't go into it in this podcast, but... You know, guys, you just need a freaking phone like I'm doing, and you can tell the truth, guys. These morons give money to demons, you know, to tell them, oh, I'm doing extra documentary. Take a freaking phone and talk, you moron, it's war. What demons? There's been much death in my immediate family, unfortunately, not from COVID-19, but from other things. Oh, he had so much death around him, guys, that prevented him from doing this masterpiece. And I've gone through a very hard period, as has my video editor, which is personal, and I'm not going to get into any of that. He, he has his personal video editor. Because that's his personal business. Mm -hmm. And th things have delayed the release by a few months. So right now, uh, I made an exception for you, my friend. Personally, I wanted to do this interview. Uh, okay, so you've been very lucky that he made an exception. Okay. I'll probably take at least another month or two. I don't know. Okay, but we. Are, but wait, you more the, 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 the documentary is almost done, guys. Yeah. Are almost there. What it is, what is finished is fantastic, and I'm very happy with. But keep giving me money because we will speed up the process. Visually, storyboarding wise, the content, what is being said, the script is right on point. When this comes out, it is going to be the best video about natural law that has ever been released. Yeah, this, this is the God mentality, guys. Okay? The very humble individual, you know, talks good about uh, something instead of letting others talk good about you, you know? These are the demons, guys. If you give money, this is the demons that the, the other demons, morons, give money to. Because the, this this earth is filled with demons, guys. That's why only this junk you can see. Okay, and I hope it will help people really learn it well in just over an hour. Yeah, so they spew the same junk to other morons like that. Okay, guys, sick guys, there's, there's nothing else I can tell you. Let me see if there's any other terms. No, this was the last one. So, Mark Chihuahua Pasio, that was in the next um, video. Ciao, ciao.